Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about a book club that I'm starting for the, starting next year. And I'm going to tell you the book that I already started reading. And I'll give you my honest reviews. None of these books are sponsored. Just so you know. All right, so the first book is You're a Badass. Stop Doubting Yourself of Oh, great. So this is by Jen Sinero. If I'm saying that wrong, I am so sorry. All right. So she talks about how she rock, hit rock bottom and how she built herself back up, how she became a better person. And she gives you tools on how to do that. She also has other books about you are badass with money and a couple other ones that I'm not, I don't, I'm not research sure I can't remember and how to you know how to get better confidence and all that good stuff. so the next uh, one is 13 things that mentally strong people don't do and do okay this is from Amy Moore okay and again none of these are sponsored all right so you will learn about your mental health in this book. She talks about how what so things that you do that you don't realize that you're doing to you know for your mental health that you're you're strong. And she teaches you how to overcome some things as well. All right. So the next book is The Good Neighbor, the life of work of Mr. Fred Rogers. Know, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Very good book. I recommend it. Um, especially if you're a fan of his. And it is from Maxwell King. It talks about how when he grew up as a child, all the way to adult. Also talks about how he got started in the TV industry and how he became Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. And how he was able he was able to push boundaries in his in his book. All right. So I just finished this one called Neil Neil Patriska. I believe I'm saying that right. You are awesome. Navigate through failure and challenges. All right, I recommend this book because he tells you basically everything happens for a reason. Uh, everything happens for a reason. He gives you steps, uh, new ways of thinking about why did this bad thing happen to you, how to fix it, different jobs he had, and how he overcome all those obstacles how you get out of that job rut of you hate your you're starting to hate your job. All right. So finally, I just started to read Dave Solis Get Out of Your Own Way. It's a, a skeptic side to growth and fulfillment. Okay, you may know his wife, Rachel Hollis. Yes, I know they just got a they're getting a divorce. They announced that not too long ago. So this book talks about as if they, you know, when they were still married, read the intro, you get some juicy stuff about how they're not getting along. Okay. So it's almost like he said he was getting a divorce before they announced it. But who knows? Um, so I bought this book, not because of the gossip, you know. I wanted to hear his his take of self self help self growth. Um, also, understand what kind of jobs he did, you know, and his own his job scale. You know, different jobs. I, I'm curious about him. So, all right. So this is, will be the book. I'll give you a review, honest review, in January. 
I will not make it a negative one and I'll try not to make it a gossip, anything gossipy either. Um, the point of this channel is to help you guys and help you feel relaxed. And all right, we will see you the next time. And thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And remember to have relaxed.